trends are certainly changing and in this video I'm going to be discussing the pros and cons of buying from your Rolex authorised dealer against buying from the grey market. For you guys that follow the channel and also follow the market, I'm sure you're probably aware that prices over the last 12 months have been slowly declining. Yes, it is still a stable market. Yes, it's still a very busy market. Yes, we are still very busy at LWC. What does that mean? That means it's a good time for you guys to buy out there. Certainly for us here at LWC, we've seen the, the company grow over the last 12 months with regards to the sales and the new clients that we've had to the boutique. But you know, some of the harder to get models out there, you know, they're still proving hard to get in the marketplace. Is now the time to buy buy from the grey market permanently or should you continue to do the dance with your Rolex AD? Let's start with the Rolex authorised dealers. Some of you guys watching this may not like this but I'm going to tell you now from my experience of the last 10 years, Rolex ADs generally do not care about you and your business and your loyalty. And what do I mean by that? They're more than happy to push watches to you that you've not requested, not on your list, and certainly not ones that you actually want to buy. Because the market was booming over the last sort of two or three years, you guys out there will have to take anything from your authorised dealer. You could literally sell it for a profit within an hour of taking it. The market's certainly changed now. So regarding your relationship with your Rolex, Rolex AD, is it really worth it? That's the big question. When you get the call, do you need to be taking that call? Do you need to be not taking that call? Well, my advice to you is certainly as a business owner, rule 101 of being a business owner is to look after your clients. That is the most important thing for me. And that also means us not stocking certain watches that you know we think are not worth the current market value because at the end of the day, I want to keep you as a client. If I sell you a watch, you buy it from LWC, six months later, you decide you don't want it, and we just turn around and go, oh, I actually don't want that watch, or I've overcharged you for that watch. That's not something we've ever done at LWC. The Rolex authorised dealers are slightly different. They're more than happy to sell you anything that they've got in stock, and they don't care whether you lose money. We've covered it in so many videos where some of the bigger pieces out there the big gold pieces, the big sky dwellers, we all know they're notoriously under list price. I've got one to show you here, for example. This is a sky dweller. We had one recently and we showed it on the channel. Same model. This is a brand new, unworn sky dweller, 18 karat yellow gold with a black dial. The retail price from Rolex is around £37,000 now. We're selling this for £28,000, so nearly £9,000 under list price. So this is a prime example. If you get the call from your Rolex AD, they're more than happy to sell you this watch at full retail price, but bear in mind, when you come to sell it, you have to go to the grey market to sell this watch. And what are they going to tell you? It's worth literally 30 to 35% less than Rolex retail price. Some of the models that have been in the danger zone over the last 12 months, we've covered in many, many videos. If you've not seen them, check them out on the channel. But they are the big gold pieces. They are the steel and gold pieces. Some of them ask really good value on the grey market. And I'd advise going out there, find yourself a credible dealer, you know, looking at what they've got in stock, do your homework on them, you know, because for you guys out there, and you're all going to sat there looking at me here and going, yeah, but I don't trust the grey market. Where can I go in the grey market? This is why we continue to do the dance with your Rolex authorised dealer. Well, I can tell you, you know, there's plenty of credible, honourable, trustworthy grey market dealers out there. Do your research, go find them, and I'll guarantee you'll have a better service and experience than you will have at your authorised dealer because they genuinely want your business. They genuinely want to retain you as a client. And at the end of the day, yes, we have a margin to make. Yes, we are a business. But it's also very important for you guys to understand that it's not just about selling one watch. It's continuing that relationship, building new relationships, and keeping you guys as one of our clients forever. One thing I do want to discuss is the authorised dealer waitlist, something that we have many conversations with our clients every day of the week at LWC is, is it superficial? Is this waitlist superficial? Well, I can tell you from my experience that the majority of clients out there watching this, that all you want is your GMT, all you want is your Submariner date. You know, you are struggling to get it. It's now a place in the market where you can actually go to the grey market and pay a tiny bit over retail for some or retail for others and you can pick it up on the day. You know, some of these watches that you've been actually told is two, three years, four years, I can tell you stories all day long from my clients that come to see me and some stories you actually would not believe what they're told. And the serious people who spend, you know, decent money with Rolex over a period of time. And what you've got to remember is there's no loyalty with Rolex anymore. You know, yes, I sell Rolex watches. Yes, are they the best brand in the world? In my opinion, yes. You know, have we built our business around Rolex models? Yes, we have. But when it comes to the authorised dealer and the way they supply you guys, that's where I have a problem. So for me personally, you know, if you're looking at being retained as a client, you know, I think it's very important that they should be looking after you more. And like I said before, if you're looking for that watch, you know, get yourself into the grey market, do your homework. There's enough information 
information out there and buy yourself your watch on the day. So to answer the question that I started this video with, should you continue to do the dance or should you go straight to the gray? I would honestly say in the current market, for some of you, yes, continue doing it. You've always got a bit of a relationship. You've maybe took the watches you didn't want. You're now getting the cream, the really nice watches that you've always wanted. Yes, continue. But for the majority of people, or certainly people new to the market, I'd actually say no. There's no point doing that sort of two, three, four year wait for your watch. Get yourself out there, you know, find yourself a credible dealer. Keep on the list with your Rolex AD. You never know, you might get the call. But what I would say to some clients, and, this is, and we say this to clients all day, every day, is look, stay on the list with your Rolex AD. Come buy a watch, let's say from LWC. If you get the call for that watch, we're more than happy to buy that from you, or we'll buy the watch that we've sold you back, and then you can just literally keep the new one from your AD. So either way, you're playing the game. As always, we'll jump into the best selling models of the last four weeks at LWC. The market has changed, and this is why it's very important to tune in for market updates and follow the market because month on month, each month are actually different with the watches that we actually sell and some that are popular one month, as sometimes the following month are not as popular. So, number four in the category is the Rolex Submariner. Again, covered this in so many videos. The top of the charts in this particular category is the Submariner date and no date, the steel variant. We've got a couple to show you here for you guys that have not seen them. This is the new 41 mil, so we've got the no date and we've also got the date, which I might I just have one in my drawer here. Let me just double check. Here we have. So these are the two here for you. So we've got some minor date and no date, 41 mil. Like I said, the absolutely bulletproof, sought after go-to watch. That's our top one in the Submariner range, to let you guys know. Retail on the no date, which is this one, is 8,050. Retail is 9,000 on that one. We sell these around 11,000, we sell these around 12,000. Let's go to the next one in the Submariner range. The other top three that were our best sellers was the Starbucks. I've actually got a couple to show you here. We've got the Mark One and Mark Two. For you guys that don't know, the Mark One is the darker one. This is one of the darker green bezel, which is now discontinued. They've got the Mark Two, which is this one here, which is the lighter green bezel. We sell pretty much uh, similar amounts of both. I'd probably say the lighter green is the most popular. I actually really like the dark green now. I think it's a really nice color and a bit more subtle. But again, you know, beauty in the eye of the beholder, and you guys certainly will choose the one that you like. Again, price-wise on these, the retail is just under 10,000, and we sell these for around about anywhere between 12 and a half to sort of 13 and a half thousand. And then we've got the blues, I think we sold out actually, we had one in the other day. This is like the, the best-selling submarine, in my opinion, no matter what the market's doing. The blues are the iconic blue dial and blue bezel, been selling those as well, and let's move on to category number three. Coming in at number three is the GMT Master 2, the 40 millimeter variant. No surprise to you guys, our best selling one of the last four weeks is the GMT Master 2 Pepsi, the beautiful blue and red bezel on the Jubilee and Oyster, but Jubilee, as we all know, is the best seller. Again, what else is good in that lineup? We've been selling quite a few of the Batgirls and Batmans, got a couple to show you here. This is the new one with the Jubilee bracelet. Literally sell so many of these at LWC. We'll stock and buy as many as we physically can. If you look at the website, we've probably got four or five at the minute just because we like them so much. Again, retail wise on this, just under 10K. We retail anywhere between sort of like 13.5 to 14.5, 15, depending on the year and condition. And we've got the Batman as well, actually. This is obviously a really nice watch as well on the Oyster bracelet. Again, retail price just under 10K, 9.5 ish, I'm going to say. We sell these for around about 14,000 just to let you know for brand new and ones. And considering that how hard they are to get, both of these models, I think they're really well priced in the market. I can see why you guys are pulling triggers. because the blue and black is really nice. Got a couple of others in this range as well. We've been selling, we've got Sprite. Again, the Jubilee always outsells the Oyster. I think I've got an Oyster in the back there. You know, these have come down a little bit in price. I think they're certainly well priced in the market. I've always said these are really good long-termers, left-hand drives. But I think considering that these are for sale between sort of 15 and 16,000 online, I think they're really, really good value. Consider that this particular one here has been out for a few years. This is the new model, the new reference. Obviously, it's the new one, the new release from Rolex. And I think it's a really good watch. So for you guys out there, 15 to 16K, I think it's really good value for money. And another one, this is really exciting one, actually. We had the GMT Master 2 meteorite dialing. This is where the market is, and this is sure how rare this watch is 
and what I think is extremely good value. I think we've only ever had two GMT Master 2 meteorite dials. It's in the white gold variant, 18 karat white gold. This particular watch, to give you guys an idea, the retail's just under 40 and we're around at 39,000 pounds. We sold a 2023 one, very light wear, um, literally like brand new for 43,000 pounds. Considering the market, compare that to the Rolex Daytona, on a full gold bracelet, what does that sell for? That's literally nearly double in price depending on the precious metal combination. So for me, the Metrite GMT, and a lot of you guys watching this absolutely love that watch. I think it is fantastic value for money and it did not last long online. And number two of our best sellers of LWC, which is a complete reversal from the month before, and this is why it's important to follow market trends and certainly our videos, is the Datejust range we've had a renaissance of Datejust buyers. And the most popular and the same as the top category in sellers, like for like, is the Datejust 41 and also the Datejust 31. This is where the market, as we've said, you see very, very few Date just 31's coming through. They're very hard to get from your Rolex authorized dealer. And whenever we get the metal receipt, we'll buy as many as we can and we'll sell them out pretty quickly. We've sold a beautiful floral diamond motif dial. We've sold the diamond six, the pink one, beautiful watch. We've got a couple of us in the back, but certainly for you guys out there, the 41 again, we've got the Wimbledon. I won't talk too much about it because we've covered that in many videos. The best sellers for us are always the dark blue. I had a client collect one yesterday, same combination, flew to Jubilee. And we also sold the mint green and also this particular combination. But for you guys out there looking for something a bit different, and I really like this watch, and it does seem really popular in the market. And it's the exact same combination what I mentioned, but with the smooth stainless steel bezel, mint green dial. If you guys want is something that is, in my opinion, quite a lot of watch for the money. This is retailed by us under £10,000, around £9,750. The retail price from Rolex is around £7,300. So yeah, a couple of thousand pounds more over this. You're gonna pick yourself up a brand new, unworn, mint, top of the 1-3 dials, top of the tree as far as dial color from a gray market dealer. And you're gonna get something really nice for under £10,000. Coming in at number one, no surprise to you guys out there, the Rolex Daytona, and let me tell you, the Daytona train is not stopping. The biggest seller in this particular category is the Rolex Daytona Oysterflex. I've got quite a few to show you today. I'll quickly fly through them. The number one, as always, the Daytona Ghost, 18 karat white gold, gray dial, black sub -dust. This is the new reference. These are really, really hard to get in 2024. We've hardly seen any coming through whatsoever. And over the last week, we've been had the opportunity to buy quite a few. So that tells me the Rolex authorized dealers are pushing them out this week. So for me, this is the second one we've had in as many days. We had a client pick one up yesterday. Retail price from Rolex, 29.3. We sell these online for between 36 and 37,000 pounds. I've got the old reference to show you here. Again, really like this watch. These are really good value in the market. Anywhere between sort of like 30 to 33,000, depending on the year, what a watch they are. And then went to the sort of the Paul Newmans. I've got a bit of a treat for you guys as well today. So we've got the new reference with the new, obviously, bezel new movement. This is the 126 Paul Newman. And I've actually got the old one as well. I've got another one here and that's got the beautiful red hand, which I know a lot of you guys out there absolutely cover. So I've got one of the old, one of the new price wise on these early thirties to mid thirties on those. Did have a Pikachu like mine, unfortunately it has gone. Sold pretty quickly. We've also got this one, which is the Sundust. Again, rose gold variant, listed 29.3. We sell these around about 35, 36,000. Sold one last week, stocked another one. So they're really popular and hard to get. Then we're into the next best selling in this particular category, and it is the stainless steel Daytona, the iconic, the Holy Grail. We've actually got two variants to show you here. So I've actually got the black one, and believe it or not, this is outsold the new reference Panda. This only arrived yesterday. So for you guys out there, I'm sure at some point on your watch journey, you need to get this watch. It's got that, you've got to get it on your sort of list. So this one here is the black variant. To get you guys know, the retail for both these ones is £13,200. We sell these around 25, 26, and we sell these for around £27,000. Again, we all know how hard they are to get, but for us, the black in the last four weeks has outsold the Panda. And then the last one I'd like to talk about is actually a Platinum Daytona. I've got another one to show you here. This one is the old reference. It's the 116506 reference discontinued. When we're talking value for money, when we're talking something a little bit different, when we're talking the elite top tier of watches and models within the Daytona lineup, this is right there, AKA the daddy. We all know this watch. And if you see that ice blue, you know it's a Platinum. The weight is unbelievable. This is on for sale online on our website for under the new Rolex retail price, which is, 
is £66,800 ish, I'm going to say. We've got this for sale for around £65,000, £66,000. What a watch, what great value for money. We sold a newer one. This is 2016, by the way. We sold it 2022 to a client, bought it for her husband for a gift. He's not actually got it yet, so I hope he doesn't watch this video before it goes out, but it's coming to you very soon. And we sold that for 75,000 pounds. So for me, the Daytonas, the train is not stopping. Hope you enjoyed this video. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.